Definition of a normed vector space. Well, we start from a vector space, we'll say f is the set of scalars, and we're going to define this function. That little dot is basically just a kind of quick way to have a variable there, basically. It represents the input to this function that is represented by the double vertical bars on each side. Now notice that a norm is going to have to return non-negative values. And that makes intuitive sense if what we're trying to model is some notion of psi. Psi should be non-negative. But it should also have the following properties. This is positive definiteness, which basically just says that the only thing with psi zero is the zero vector. It should have absolute homogeneity, meaning that basically if you take any scalar multiple, then in absolute value it can factor out. And finally, the big one, it has to have the norm triangle inequality, saying that if you take the norm of v plus w, it's less than or equal to the sum of the individual norms. The standard norm on the real numbers is the absolute value of the number.